Hey all you awesome new blossom new people out there welcome back to my channel my name is Nirupama and i hope you all are doing great well in today's video we'll be talking about skin care yes it is very important to take care of your skin uh, some people they are blessed with a good skin some people they need to work hard but irrespective of that you have to make sure that you know you uh, follow a proper uh, skin care routine you have to be consistent you can't take your skin for granted right so in today's video i'm going to tell you about my five favorites my five essential i can not do without and its benefits so yeah without further ado let's get into the video guys first up on the list is aloe vera gel yes i have been using this aloe vera gel by Pitanjali for almost uh, three and a half years and i simply love this product i love how it makes my skin feels and uh, you know uh, it is very affordable you get it anywhere it's very affordable easily available and the benefits are well known that's why it has earned a permanent place in almost every household beat a sunburn or bad case of uh, acne this is one product you can rely on you can also use it on your scalp if you are facing problem of dandruff and uh, you can use it as a moisturizer as well if you have oily acne prone skin like mine now how do i use it i um, before going to the bed i wash my face with a gentle face wash and then i apply rose water as a toner and then i take a generous amount of this gel all and apply it all over my face and especially around my eye area because it works well for the puffy eyes or the dark circles and some day I don't feel going out and I am just lazing around so after taking the bath I apply this aloe vera gel as a moisturizer as it is in a gel formula and summers are here and I have this oily skin so it is it is very, uh, really very good for that I apply it initially it will feel a little uh, not greasy but uh, sticky and after a while it will dry off and yeah you are good to go and to store it I keep it in the refrigerator it has a cooling property but if you keep it in the refrigerator it will add on to it and then you apply on your face it feels so refreshing and I just love it. So yeah, this is one product. This is product number one. So next up on the list is rose water. Yes. So I have I've been using this Dabur Gulab Pretty Grab Chill and i use it as a toner especially you can also add in to your mask like the homemade mask what we use generally you can add few drops it gives you a nice fragrance and it is very good for your skin as well it is very refreshing and uh, i have oily skin so it is very good for the oily skin that is why i don't use anything else apart from gulab chill uh, on my face as a toner and it is again it is very easily available it is very very affordable so that is the reason why i like this product so why do i use uh, rose water as a toner because it helps in maintaining the ph balance in your skin and it also controls the excess oil if facing problem of acne you can use it it really works well for that you can also use it as um, a makeup remover you can also use it as a setting spray yes after applying your makeup if you apply it all on your over your face the makeup will stay throughout and you can use it as a makeup remover which is simply wow just add it with the with the baby oil and yeah you can. when i go out generally i don't carry i don't have a face mask so i use this uh, gulab gel and whenever i feel tired and my my skin feels dehydrated i just apply it all over my face so and i feel my skin feels refreshed and it because of its it fragrance it add on to that so yeah that is why i just love using it like also and how do i store it i keep it in, again i keep this one as well in the refrigerator it keeps it cool and whenever i want to use it i take it out from the refrigerator and spray it all over my face and feel refreshed it helps in aging keeping the fine lines and wrinkles at the way Okay guys, so next up on this list is sunscreen. So I have this Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen for especially for uh, it has SPF of 30. So uh, I have a confession guys, I am that one crazy lazy chick who never used to wear sunscreen, like never ever. Uh, one of the reasons were uh, a it makes my skin feels greasy and oily it used to add on i used to think that you know it is adding on to my um to that greasiness of my skin so i never used to wear it but i was an idiot 
because uh, they met the Domek. I went to a Domek, and then she told me that you know what, you know what, girl, you should start wearing it because it will help you to prevent uh, from uh, the premature aging and then from the sunburn. As we all know, why we wear it. Sunburn is there, then your tanning is there. But I used to be like, you know, I'm not exposed to the sun. I'm not going out. Uh, you know, in summers, I generally am inside the inside my home, and I don't go out. And if I'm where I work, my workplace, that place is also not exposed to the sun. So I don't have to wear it. But you have to wear it, irrespective of the weather. Whether it's summers, winters, rainy, spring, no matter what, you should wear sunscreen. And you should always wear sunscreen half an hour prior. You step out of your house. You should and not just like little tiny bit. You should take generous amount of sunscreen. And then apply all over the face because I've seen people using it this, like this, it too small quantity, which is not enough. You should take you know at least the um, size of a coin, yeah, that much, and then apply it all over your face and neck as well. We are tend to forget a beautiful neck, but then you should apply there as well. And it is very important. Like it, it actually protects your skin from the harm from UV rays and it protects your skin from skin cancer as well. So it is very very crucial. It is very very important to wear. And I have learned my lesson. It's never too late. So if you are lazy like me, start using it before it's too late. Another thing which is very important is that uh, you should always take uh, the sunscreen which has minimum SPF of 30. So keep it between 30 to 50. Don't get, uh, don't uh, you know, buy a sunscreen which has SPF of 100 or above 50 because then it will make your skin too sensitive. So you should be balanced. You should just take a sunscreen which has 30 or 50, you know, somewhere in between. So yeah, that is so. So next up we have the sheet mask. Yes, I have this the sheet mask by. the face shop and i have been using like i made a video of it so if you haven't seen it you can i'll leave the link below in the description so you can have a look so in that i have mentioned the benefits of a uh, sheet mask and how uh, beneficial and how much i love that these ones it is very easy to use and it is very handy as well if you are traveling you can always apply it and keep it for 20 minutes or 15 minutes whatever it mentioned in the packet and uh, you can just remove it and voila you are done So that easy it is, and it is very. You know what? Sometimes what happens is that we think these are all fancy stuff. We should not do it. We don't need it. But your skin, after a certain period of time, your skin really needs to be taken care of. So you can start. You don't have to, uh, you know, go to a parlor every now and then. But you can take care of your skin at home. Use the basic uh, products like the aloe vera gel. You get it anywhere. You can use the gulabri, uh, gulab gel, uh, the double gulabri gulab gel as a toner. You can use the sheet mask. You don't have to prepare a proper mask. You can use these ones. These are easily available. You can um, you can order it online, and then the offers are going on. now and then so you can use it so you know what it is very important for you to start uh, taking care of your skin it is nothing but your skin so uh, you're not doing any favors to anyone or it isn't it's and if you think it's a lot of hard work then it's worth it so start taking care of your skin okay guys so next up on the list is body mist i cannot stop emphasizing on this like how important it is to smell good For example, somebody sitting next to you and doesn't smell good, like <gasps> unpleasant body odor, it turns you off, right? So same goes for you as well. So it is very important for you that, especially during summers, that you take care of your body odor. You always carry one body mist with you, whichever fragrance is your favorite, whichever body mist, perfume, or deodorant you like. You can pick it up, and you can you know, you always should carry one. You should always spray or keep spraying yourself because it's. it shows uh, your the smell of your body actually shows what kind of person you are and it's nothing but about hygiene now as we see that advertisements are there and it's literally grilling in our head that if you use this fragrance if you use this body mist it will uh, you know uh, it will attract the guy you like or the girl you like or it will attract everybody but it's not about attracting somebody it's about your personal hygiene so you should really, really take care of that and so go to the nearest store pick up your favorite fragrance apply it all over feel good smell good and you are good to go So guys, these were my favorites, my essentials that I cannot do without. And uh, let me tell you one more thing that you know nowadays uh, we uh, we young, especially the young girls, they get influenced or uh, uh, intimidated with the products, the high brand products. See, if something is suiting you, well and good. But you should not buy it because the falana falana person also uses the same one. You know, you should really need to. know what is your skin type what suits your skin well and then start using it like i was also that one of that you know idiots who used to buy the stuff when i used to see oh you're using this one oh is it nice okay i'll also go and buy it and i used to waste my money 
let me tell you that it's your hard earned money or the pocket money you are saving for quite a long time so you should not just waste it and if you really want to waste it it's better you go and uh, you know uh, donate it to a charity so be very careful when you use the product it is not important which brand you are using it the important thing is how it makes your skin feel so that's all for today's video i hope you like it and if you like it do hit the subscribe button first and the like button and make my day and that's all for today i hope to see you until next time bye